In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to stop under center running attacks, specifically from run heavy sets um, in Madden 23. If you played Madden 23 yet, you probably know by now that people that because it, because passing is so much more difficult in Madden 23, a lot of people that you play online are going to be running the ball from under center. This is a great tactic for you to be able to slow down the run with a really simple defense that is going to be effective um, all season long. And it's out of Big Nickel over G. You can do this out of any four down lineman set, but I personally prefer Big Nickel over G. And if you want to make sure that you get access as soon as our big nickel over g defensive ebook is ready make sure that you're in the patreon we're going to have that ready really really soon so make sure you're in the patreon the link is down in the description below if you want to sign up for that it's only 10 bucks to get you access to all of our defensive ebooks offensive ebooks exclusive updates we've got a lot of resources coming to you this year to help you be a better player make sure you're in the patreon for all of that stuff Okay, so it's literally any play out of Big Nickel over G, and because Big Nickel over G is a symmetrical formation, I like to turn auto flip off for this defense because it's going to allow me to properly always know where my defense is going to be at. I can unbaseline at any time to this, okay? I can un auto flip if I want to. I can always do that. But literally any play, I personally prefer um, the weak safety blitz one, but you could do this out of cover three match um, if I can find it here. Let me see here. Here's cover three sky. Where's cover three match at? Cover three scene. That's fine. We'll do cover three scene. I think that's basically cover three, cover three match. Yeah, scene flats. So all you're going to do is you're going to show blitz, and then you're just going to kind of like, you're going to bring this middle third safety down, and it's up to you. Um, I like to user him. You don't have to. I like to. Okay. If you don't want to use the safety, you're going to bring him down and then you're going to use her this guy. Okay. But like I said, I like to use the safety in this defense. And what you're going to see here is I'm just going to basically muddy up the run. And it's real simple. As you can see, I'm just, as soon as the, as soon as the ball is hyped, I'm clicking my right joystick in and it really helps a lot. Now, another thing that you can do with this is you can contain your defensive ends and this will help a ton. This will help an absolute ton if you are trying to stop the run because when you click your stick, you'll see they will almost instantly shed and they'll be able to get off of the ball. The 26 duo is one of the better runs in the game, but I want to show you power. Uh, power is, you can also pinch your D-line as well. Um, but you see how this formation, because of the alignment, it brings this guy in. If there was a receiver out there, it obviously wouldn't do that. But this is just helpful. It just continues to pack the box with more people. Anyways, if they run power, you're going to literally run through and shoot it in the backfield for a loss of five every time. It's the best gap shoot in the game for power. It's literally the best way to stop power, and it is the only way you should ever try to stop power, in my opinion. You'll see here, if they run 26 to the left, I can shoot in the backside uh, again. So you're just standing over the center, running down and clicking the right joystick in, and you're going to be able to stop pretty much every run in the game. Um, so that's 26 duo right. I'll show you 26 duo left. You see here, I can just shoot right in and stop it. This is why big nickel over G, in my opinion, is the best defense in Madden 23 because you need to be able to stop the run this year. People are going to be running the ball. I'm just telling you right out of the gate, people are going to be running the ball. If they run an ISO run, you're coming right down. You can a lot of times blow that up for negative two to three yards. Really, really effective little defense. Now, let me just show you for fun what happens if I need to use this guy, okay? You'll see here that it's harder. It's much, much harder. Um, the gaps don't open as much because the safety that you're using is not in the run fit. So if you needed a middle third defender, please just put the weak side linebacker in a middle third. Please do it that way because he will still help out in the run. But now it really opens up things for your user to be able to make plays. But you don't need to have okay you don't need to have a middle third defender and i want to show you why i'm going to spy my player right here uh, i guess i'm just going to blitz him whatever i'm going to blitz my user and then just spy the d line so that i have time and what you're going to notice with this cover three is if i let's say that i go to um let me see if i can find something here just something with this guy out wide you'll see here i have this guy out wide okay i want you to watch i'm gonna put him on a post and i want you to watch what happens uh, with with how the defense plays you should see that this third is going to match him to the post and take that completely away for the most part unless you get agged as you can see so the post route gets matched by the cover three match that's why i love this and then the seam flats which you'll notice with these the seam flat defenders on this play will match tight end routes as well. So this is really helpful for all of the levels of run defense being um, kind of efficient. 
fullback dive deep, as you can see here, same thing. We're just clicking it in. Obviously, if you really need to blow up fullback dive, we'll have to work on that a little bit. But as you can see, the core concept of run defense is right here for you. Uh, this is my favorite way to stop the run. This works against stretch as well. Um, again, just the sheds are so good when you click that right joystick in, I'm telling you. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you want to get all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks, make sure that you are in our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member and it gets you access to everything as long as you are a member. All of our updates, all of our eBooks, all of our exclusive tips um, are available to you. And I think the best resource that we have over there, at least right now, is going to be my Madden 23 Blitz Guide, where I literally show you step-by-step -step how to blitz out of every formation in Madden 23. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video and we will see you guys in the next one.